All right, welcome back to Southern Cross Station. This is uh, episode 62. Um, now, I was editing my videos the other day, and I realized that I only did one Silver Run Forest, and it made everything a heck of a lot easier. What we're going to do is for right now until, I, you know, I had talked about on Silver Run Forest, we're going to actually end one of the videos. It's going to be one or the other. You know, one of these three is we're going to end one of the series. Um, and start a new one. It's still going to be a while for any of them, but uh, what my I'm thinking here is, since we did two Southern Cross last week, we're going to do two Silver Run this week. So there'll only be one episode of Southern Cross Station this week. You know, if it's a problem, let me know. You know, hey, I'll uh, I'll switch and just keep one on on Silver Run and not care. But uh, we got way too many raisins so we need to start getting rid of these raisins you know not to mention we got a big ass loan you know so it's good to get that paid off <laughs> um, we also got uh, the honey tra the tractor full of honey back there so as soon as we're done with this we're gonna get the honey done because I need to get uh, this I don't care though I know where I'm putting the flatbed okay so we already got 123,000 off it plus Another eleven, so hundred and thirty-four thousand approximately, plus the bonuses. So probably one hundred and fifty thousand total. Nice, man. We might get rid of that half that loan today, because um, <laughs> I know this is usually about fifty thousand worth of uh, honey. So there's not a ton left in there, but because the cereal factory is not uh, running right now, we need to get oats in there. That's why we're putting oats in that field across the way. Um, you know, we just need to get, get going again. I just, you know, I slacked off on that and didn't think about it. Um, where is my, there we go. I was going to say, I knew I was close to the marker, but. <laughs> yeah, 45, that's not bad, but we got, uh, I'm just going to leave both of these over here. I don't need them both right away. Well, we need this. Actually, let's, uh. We're gonna grab the semi. I'm gonna take the semi back over to uh, where the grapes are and kind of drop that off. Cause we're gonna need it for the grapes. We've got a full load. Wait, oh, it just looked like there was something there, but we, we don't own timber time. So uh, I wonder if that's supposed to be like a joke on tool time. From home improvement. Okay. <laughs> anyway. I don't want to run these over, so we're just going to disconnect here. I'm going to run back over the farm, hook back up to the big trailer. Well, not the, you know what I mean. The, um, I did empty the corn trailer into the bin. It was full. Um, we're not going to start with doing corn, but uh, I need this tractor back on the on the farm in case, uh, or, you know me, I call it a tractor because that's what we always called them, was a tractor trailer. Um, semi, truck, whatever you want to call it, you know. Um, <laughs> but I, uh, I think we're probably, I know we're going to make a decent profit overnight, but let's just hold on to this until until we go into May, and I don't know if that's going to be today or not. We've got so much work to do that uh, I'm going to be staying busy for a while. As you see, there's weeds over here. That's actually where we're going to start. But, you know, like I said, I wanted to get this over here and uh, get that done. With that huge weeder, we should be able to uh, knock that out in no time flat, so... Yeah, as, you know, as you see, I still haven't touched the corn. I didn't touch the cornfield, you know, unlike when we were doing the potatoes. I'm st I'm still amazed that we got that many potatoes. It's just insane how much we have. Uh, once we get our loan paid off and we get the cotton field harvested, 
then we're gonna, you know, obviously do the stuff, see if if it's worth doing it over there. If we have to, we can cut part of the other field on our side off where all the black is and uh, use that as a, you know, as a place for, for businesses. Um, let's tab around here to the correct one. There we go. This thing is so monstrous, but I love it. I mean, it's going to, you know, when we get big fields like across the way, it is going to save us time. You know, I, I have a feeling that we're probably going to uh, upgrade the our uh, cultivator at some point as well. But I want to start thinking about what we're going to do with the potatoes because that's kind of a, you know, a big deal. We got to get rid of all the, you know, we got to what, mil almost a million and a half potatoes. I'm hoping we don't hit this tree over here. Jeez. got just a little bit down here it was kind of, it's kind of hard you know with the curvature of this field to kind of see where I gotta be yeah it's right here but you know we're doing good you know and that didn't take long I think it was uh, maybe five minutes for me you know so it's gonna be a pretty short uh, time lapse you know so uh, yeah yeah it's the last of it right here so I think this field needs to be, um, uh, what do you call it, that has to be um, fertilized yet, too. I'm not positive, but we're not going to do it uh, during April. If we do it, we'll do it in May. You know, so it may get done this, this episode, may get done next episode. Just depends on uh, what we have time for. You know, sad thing is I still want this field over to our right. <laughs> I mean, it'd be, it'd be fun to do sugar beet. Not to mention we got that sugar beet machine. We could uh, cut it into cut sugar beet and uh, use it that way. Heck, we could probably buy the business that lets us make sugar. And uh, Well, I don't know if there's one on this map or not. But no, we're going to need this in the very, not extreme future, but uh, in the near future. Um, I think we're going to get rid of this cultivator because it's, it's just getting too small for the farm we have. I mean, everything is, but that's beside the point. Um, we are going to rent the seed hawk when we do, uh, the other stuff. So, so I think what we're going to do is we're going to finish the corn field because it's not that much. It's, you know, a couple, you know, probably another half a semi load or so of corn. And then uh, we'll sleep if we have any time left after sleeping. We're probably going to mow another field because I need to get, uh, you know, we could go and bale the other other one and stuff, but uh, we need, uh, I'm pretty sure we need hay for the sheep. I mean, worst comes to worst, I'll buy a couple bales for the sheep and bring it over, but uh, I'd rather just uh, bale it. But I think, I don't remember if we took the baler over and sold it yet or not, but uh, 
there was uh, one I wanted to look into and get, you know, if we're going to keep bailing stuff. I'm, I'm almost to the point where, you know, would it just be better just to, uh, to not bail and use, uh, you know, use some sort of hay silo, you know, a barn or whatever they give us that we can do. Because there, are, there is the, the barn, you know, that you can store hay and grass in.
All right, so that's more or less done. Uh, just gonna finish this a little bit up. I might as well put it in the truck since we got a second truck load. That's kind of, I wasn't expecting to get a full truck load out of that part of the field, but kind of surprising and good. You know, so we're over a hundred thousand. We'll look to see exactly what we have when we get over there. So, uh, but yeah, this has been a great corn harvest. Uh, I was thinking about putting, you know, something else in the field next time and I'm really leaning towards uh, putting corn back in here and then once we're done plant you know starting the potatoes and getting them running I was thinking about uh, getting the corn dryer because a corn dryer does give us a heck of a lot more corn or well gives it not a lot more corn but more money for the corn is what I meant but yeah, and you know, of course, this took a little longer than I thought it would. I, you know, I thought I was, I don't know, I thought I had more of the field done. I mean, we've been running these videos out at uh, the full length, you know, well, every time, you know, I'm still somehow compressing them down to 30 minutes or less, but uh, <laughs> it's definitely a lot of corn and stuff. I mean, a lot of stuff. Um, I would like to before we end this I'd like to sleep so that we're already on the next day so I'm pretty sure the soybean field is going to be uh, coming up uh, I I have a feeling this is uh, kind of made me if we're gonna do more corn or anything like that I want to get a bigger unit I'm gonna take a look this week um, and see uh, like I said there will not be a Tuesday video um, can this thing tell yeah uh, corn 108,000 liters holy cow that that's gonna make us some money that's uh you know we'll only do two, two trips over but uh you know and leave that extra in there for the next one you know but uh yeah you know but if we decide we're gonna get the the corn dryer but you know right now we're kind of waiting on stuff you know my thing is i want to get closer to getting uh cotton and i'm thinking you know that that then once we get the chance to uh check out that field up there and see what that field's going to be able to do okay so that kind of uh put me where i wanted to be so let's go in here oh i hit purchase i wanted to hit escape key let's go ahead and let's repay um I don't know. I'm thinking about leaving like ninety thousand or so left on our in our pocket. Um, let's go down to ninety thousand. Um, I don't want to go any lower than that. So we got eighty five left to pay. Um, we haven't. The sad thing is, we haven't even sold a potato, <laughs> and we have already paid this loan back. So I don't see it as a bad thing. You know, we are definitely doing really good. Um, Okay, I I knew soybeans would be ready. That was already kind of a gimme. Nice. You know, and I was I was thinking, you know, we've got uh we've been doing really good on here for money. And uh I've been thinking about I wanted to see um I'll just look on the map, see if I can see that on the map. See, uh look at all these other ones. Uh can we go anywhere where we can get up there? Um, I don't know if we can see, I don't think it's ready. When does, uh, let's just see when it, it, it is ready to, cotton is in three months. So, you know, this will be, you know, next week's, uh, two episodes. And then the following week we can do that. So we got, we got two weeks to get that done, three weeks to get all the, to get the fields done, get the, um, everything off them. Um, there are some things I still want to do on this, uh, you know, on this playthrough. Um, I'd like to see what we can do, you know. Um, we may, uh, when we, depending on how I want to do it, we may rent um, a unit, you know, uh, when we rent it, we might get the big square one because we can kick the square ones out. And it's a lot cheaper than that uh, $900,000 one that I really want that's got a wider head on it. But, uh, 
you know, we'll see what we want to do when I get that far. If we got enough money, we'll do that. Uh, but I'm going to look into some options this week, see what we can do as far as I'd like to be able to, in one episode, if possible, get the field that we just finished with cultivated and the one across the way and then see if we can't do stone after that at some point. I guess I can put the clock back to normal, can I? Um... <laughs> But uh, yeah, so I want to thank everybody for coming. Uh, please like, share, follow, and you know, ring the bell, uh, make a comment if you got one. You know, let me know what you think of the this so far. You know, if you're really enjoying it, let me know. I I can keep you know this. You know, I'm I'm thinking it's going to be um, silver run that's going to end, and we're going to replace with another videos set of videos. But I haven't decided yet. Uh, but I guess uh, you know. We're nowhere close on any of them, really. You know, I mean, Silver Run's at four, at forty tomorrow, so uh, we we are ten away from uh, from the fifty. And I never really expected to run Silver Run very long, but I still got to find a map and uh, that stuff. So I will see you guys next time.